Youth Runner here with a Rock Canyon standout, Owen Whitney. Another top 10 finish at the Liberty Bell Invitational. But the biggest news today is that the Jaguars, for the first time since back-to-back -back victories in 2016 and 2017, are the champions. Uh, and the first time ever in the actual sweepstakes configuration, because that wasn't added to the schedule until 2018. Uh, 18 point uh, uh, a victory for, uh, for you guys. Obviously, that was the last words yeah, out of Coach's mouth. Great day for the Jags. Uh, just how proud are you of the effort you guys put together? Oh, just absolutely stoked. I mean, I couldn't be more proud of each and one of my teammates. Um, I just think it's so important that we run for each other and not for ourselves, and that's definitely why we got this victory today. So I just I couldn't be more proud of my teammates. Just in, in terms of how much the group learned, you know, last year. I mean, obviously, you were brilliant. You were extraordinary again today. But just how the, the collective group elevated, you know, because I know that you would have traded in, you know, uh, maybe not a PR, but, you know, uh, but obviously you would have traded in just about anything else, you know, and probably a PR too, because you're such an unselfish guy, you know, for, uh, for this, uh, this team to win. But just how, how encouraged are you about just how much this, uh, this group has, uh, has grown specifically understanding this course and what this race requires in the past year? Yeah, I'm just, it's super, I'm just pumped to see everyone and, and, uh, just kind of from meet one to now, it's just like coach always tells us just Owen, do your own thing. And then the rest of the guys pack up. So it's, I'm just really proud of these guys. I was just telling them uh, recently here that I think it's more impressive that what they're doing from going from two to five and just staying in that close pack within 10 seconds, that's more impressive than what I'm doing. So I'm just super proud of those guys. And I think that's what we need to keep doing in the future. Just keep that from two to five, just keep that uh, gap really s small. Most definitely. The fact that obviously you see it in practice all the time, but to be able to have it, you know, replicated in a high stakes race uh, uh, like this. I mean, obviously you guys have responded uh, to a lot of challenges, but those challenges aren't the Liberty Bell challenge, right? Yeah. The fact that they could still be that great, they could still be that cohesive, they could still stay that connected in a field like this, especially, you know, when the first mile could basically, you know, take you out of the race if, if you don't have your head on a swivel. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how significant is that? that they, you know, it, it wasn't just that they rose to the occasion and kept the spread minimal, but they did it in a field like this. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows about the start of this race, how, how tight it is, and you gotta go single file. So definitely a big scare from last year when we fell. So basically our, our main goal was just to get out and uh, make sure we didn't fall and then just kind of get out fast. And that's exactly what those guys did. Um, you know, they were telling me they could see me the whole race. They were just right behind me. Um, and they just, they are just doing their own thing and they were just running together, uh, running as one. So that's definitely why we got this victory today. Most definitely. Oh, and uh, not for the sake of eavesdropping because you guys walked right past me, you know, coming up, you know, coming up the shoot out, you know, after the race. Uh, and, and I heard, you know, first of many, one, you know, one of many and whatnot. Yeah. I just, I know it's only September 14th, but obviously when, when teams do great here, you know, it translates to the rest of the year, Lord willing, health yeah. providing. When individuals do great here, it translates to the rest of the year. What, what are you hoping that this group, you know, uh, you know not only gained, but, uh, but also was maybe kind of affirmed or validated by, you know, uh, by, you know that just, hey, as long as we're the best version of Rock Canyon, everything else will take care of itself. Yeah, I just hope, you know, each of us take home that like we can do it and that we're like, we gotta be confident in ourselves. Um, and just know that like we can beat these guys. Um, um, yeah. The fact that, uh, that, that you know, this always is a showcase of the best of the best regardless of classification. Obviously Classical Academy won last year and you know, it's a rare opportunity for them to race against teams in 5A and, uh, and 4A and whatnot. But is, is this just kind of a reassurance for, uh, for you and the guys that it's like, no matter what part of the state, no matter what classification, no matter if it's Colorado, Utah, you know, you know anybody in the southwest like is is this the kind of reassurance uh, that you felt like the group needed or did you know it already you just had to put it out there on the course um yeah it's been a mix of both for sure but um you know based on our last meet um our first meet actually we didn't do too well and then the next meet we were doing a little bit better and so right then and there i knew that we could come to this meet and we could win it um but yeah after winning it for sure and knowing that um i think that we definitely have uh some self-confidence in ourselves and heading into woodbridge racing against those top schools like you said um, i think we have lots of self-confidence um, as individuals and then also as running as one so. perfect segue uh the next time i will see you we'll be under the lights at sea level uh awesome. great park in, uh, in in irvine are there things i mean obviously the courses are not apples to apples but are there things that you personally can take away and this group can take away in terms of how you structured the race today that will, that will, that will play favor on that three mile mad dash next week uh, yeah. under the lights and the sweepstakes? Um, our coaches always say the three things you do in a race is uh, 
uh, patience, pursue, and then pounce. And I think that's exactly what we need to keep doing uh, as we head into Woodbridge. Um, you know, it's a fast course, um, just really flat. So we just really need to be patient, especially as all those guys go out really fast. And then we just need to pursue those guys. And then we just got to pounce and do our best. Awesome. Uh, well, we won't have to wait until November 23rd to see Rock Canyon and Harriman. We'll be able to get to, uh, to see it on September uh, 21st in the Doug Speck Sweepstakes race. Rock Canyon ready to roll. Uh, they were patient in the first mile. They pursued in the second mile, and they pounced in the third mile and, uh, and the last point one. Uh, Owen Whitney, fantastic job. Safe travels to you guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.